Hey everybody, welcome back to Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel. Another rare day where we're all off together and we decided we're gonna go on an adventure that's out of this world. <laughs> Sorry, I knew she'd like that corny joke. Henry's taken a recent interest in planets and space because he's definitely my child because that's something I've been obsessed with forever. I even write a comic book for kids based on time travel, which is all based on Einstein, Rose, and Bridge theory. So today we're gonna head down to the University of Arizona and visit the Flandro Planetarium. Henry, do you want to go see planets? Yeah. Can you say it louder? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, so next stop is the Flandro Planetarium and Science Center. <laughs> we just arrived at the University of Arizona to check out Flandro Science Center and Planetarium. I'm excited, this is my alma mater, so I'd love to bring my kids back here where I went to school and Henry starts school this year. So Henry's had a weird obsession with planets lately, like I was saying earlier, I've always been into science, into space and travel and all that good stuff. So we're coming here to check out Flandra, which if you've ever been here before, it's one of the coolest planetariums out there. They even do the light shows and everything else. I've never actually done the light show here though. So I was oh. looking at their light shows and uh -huh. they've actually got like, uh, Stranger Things one. Really? Yes, but it was entirely sold out. Aww. But now we're gonna go check it out, maybe see something from other planets. You wanna see something from other planets, Henry? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, next stop, let's check out Flandro Science Center. It's a robot. A robot? It's I think it's a tell. Malta series mm -hmm. North Star yeah, Ball. Which is a fancy way of saying satellite. Oh, so it's a projector. I was wrong. You probably make that out of Legos, dude. Mommy, look in here. No. Lego? Yeah. What? No, I didn't. That's no moon. Oh my gosh. I was just showing you the different weight of gravity on different yeah. planets. That's cool. Here, let's check it out. So that's really light. That's Pluto, which makes sense. So Neptune, that's pretty heavy. And bear in mind, these are all the same Charlie, weight cans. Get over here. Okay. Charles? Jupiter's crazy heavy. Mars, not so much. Moon, yeah. Earth, makes sense. That's crazy. Mercury, hey. What I learned today is I'd be really, really thin on Mercury. What? Yeah, last time I was here, um, we were actually invited to teach kids about how to create and make comic books for one of these summer science classes, and since our book is rooted in comic, you know what, I'm just gonna put the link to the comic book down below, and yeah. So, but yeah, we came in for an entire week, myself and um, Eric Schock from Evil Robo Productions, and we actually got to teach kids about making comic books and science, it was really fun. Yeah, and I got to hang out at Flandre every day for a week, that was awesome. The wide world of bugs. So apparently here at the science, and they're doing a bug expose, and it's because it's showing the diversity of bugs and how they can survive in all the different terrains and climates. I mean, I know they've done experiments on the International Space Station with bugs and how they reacted, but to be honest, guys, I'm pretty sure this is how Spider-Man came to be. So let's just be careful, y'all. You never know if it's gonna be a good person or a bad person with Spider-Man, all right? Cockroach, nature's recycling expert. I don't know about all that. You know, and just a heads up with these exhibits, I don't show everything, so I really wanna encourage you guys to come down here and check it out for yourselves, but I'll give you a sneak peek to wet your whistle, if you will. But if you like what you see, come down. It's Flandro Science Center here on the University of Arizona campus in Tucson, Arizona. And I got the alumni discount because this is where I graduated college. But also, I think it's really reasonable. It's only $9 an adult and $7 for a child. 
unless you're doing the laser show too, then it's 18 and 14, I believe. But it's really worth it. The stuff in here is always changing. It's always top notch. And frankly, like, I love that they just go beyond what the normal scope of things is. It's, I don't know, this place is amazing. They got all this interactive stuff for kids and adults alike. Do you like this, Charlie? Daddy, yeah. look. Look? Well, let's go look. Survive the Jersey board. Wow. Where's this the show? Right there. You're right. Right there, Doctor. Right there. Right there, Doctor. Right there. Right there, Doctor. Right there. Right there. <laughs> U of A has an esports team now. Maybe you have a, what it takes to be a college athlete after all. Another reason I love having an electric car, close by parking, and it was 80 cents to fill the tank while we wait. Here's our dorsal fin. Every time you hear the word dorsal fin, I think of Ace Ventura. Tercioff truncatus, or the common nose bottle of barbara dolphin. I forgot words. I... Oh. It's my turn. Let's see if we can do this together, guys. Chuck? We did it. That Eat that shark. Man goes into the water. Sharks in the water. Our shark. Look, there's not gonna be one of these videos where I don't do a lot of bad movie references, just so you know. So all the years I've been coming here, I just found out there's a lower level. Look, it's too dark. It's too dark? It is too dark. Protect me. This says, puzzling the past. Fossils, minerals, and meteorites. You know what a meteorite is? A meteorite is a rock that fell to Earth from space. So all the rocks we're about to go see, well, most of them, are actually going to be from space. Is that cool? Yes, it is. And actually, I just remembered, we have seen this before. We actually saw it before it opened, because a friend of ours here is one of the higher-ups, and he came and gave us a private tour before this is open to the public. I didn't realize this was going to be open to the public, so that's kind of cool. These all came from outer space and fell to Earth. Okay. Yeah. A triceratops. Not triceratops. Henry, what dinosaur is this? A T-Rex? I'm having flashbacks right now to a few geology and anthropology Everybody. classes I was taking. Or paleontology classes that I took, I'm sorry. Yeah, what do they sound like? Rawr! successful trip to the Flandreau Science Center, wasn't it, Henry? We had a lot of fun. We learned about space. We saw some fossils. We saw some meteorites. We had two children meltdowns. But we got some books on science. Henry, show me the books. Mm -hmm. So all in all, it was a really fun trip. Charlie, you're tired. You're cranky. We're tired. We're cranky. <laughs> so now I think it's time to go get some lunch and then maybe rest for a little while. But if you're in Tucson, come check out the Flandreau Science Center. I found out there was a second floor. Then I found out we had been to the second floor before. <laughs> you learn something new every time, even if you already knew it before. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for taking another ride with us. And let's take another ride again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.